Welcome back to another vlog. It is Thursday. It's a beautiful day. It's actually kind of chilly in New York. But I'm getting ready and I thought it would be fun to kind of show you guys what I've been doing to get ready for just everyday life. I have a meeting with my agency this morning. I just finished blow drying my hair. I feel like I can never get my hair perfectly straight. It's just, my hair is just textured. I don't know what I can do about it. But I did recently discover this volume product. I have a lot of hair, but it's very fine. And so I tend to lose like volume on top of my head pretty quickly. And so um, I've been trying this volume spray from Way. I'll have it linked below if you guys have kind of the same hair as me. And I've really been liking it. Kind of been cheating with the way that you're supposed to use it. I think what you're supposed to do is wash your hair, spray it in there, and then blow dry it while it's damp. I personally don't like to do that because it's not good for your hair and I already go through so much with my hair at work. And so I just sprayed it in there last night, slept on it, and then I blow dried my hair when it's already dry. I just feel like that's a little bit better than you know, always blow drying it when it's still wet. But yeah, I've really been liking that product. I feel like I notice it the most when it's the second or even third day of my hair. Cause usually on the first day my hair is fine. It's really like the second night when I've slept on it for a second time that my hair just goes flat. So yeah, I really like it so far. I've only been using it for two weeks, but I do notice a difference, especially when it's been two days. <laughs> That's when my hair usually goes really flat and I need to put it up in a ponytail, but this definitely helps. The other product that I really like um, is this texture spray. This one's just super easy to get. I just ordered this on Amazon. I really like how this makes my hair feel a little bit fuller and it kind of holds it up. Like I said, I have a lot of hair, but it's quite soft and fine. And so this kind of just gives it a little bit more texture. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to. I'm going to start curling my hair. I think I'm going to use my wand. Just do some loose curls, nothing too crazy. Then we're gonna do makeup. And that's pretty much it. agency meeting now i'm just on the couch i changed into sweatpants as always it's like the first thing that i do when i get home is take my jeans off i forgot to bring my camera which is why i didn't really vlog very much however i had a really nice meeting with jenny if you guys don't know jenny's my agent and i've been with her for eight years this month so we really know each other and we have a very long relationship which i'm so grateful for but yeah we just had a regular meeting um talk about some work stuff, life stuff. And then halfway through the meeting, I asked her, I was like, I really wanna do some new digitals at some point. She was like, why don't we just do them right now? And at first I was kind of like, oh, I wasn't wearing a bra under the shirt. So I said that I was like, I'm not wearing a bra because I had a jacket on, it didn't really matter. But then she was like, oh, you know, we have time now. Let's just let's just take some and see how it goes. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do this because I had a great outfit on. I had my makeup done. I had my hair good. And so we just took random spontaneous Polaroids and they turned out great. I just 
literally have them up on my computer now. Anyway, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because it's just cool to see how now, at this point in my life, the experience in taking digitals and just my mindset towards it is so different and so much healthier than it was like four or five years ago. It's just nice to kind of see how those pictures don't really control my life anymore and how um, the idea of food and my body and the way that I look doesn't really control my life anymore. Obviously I feel like my looks will always somewhat be important to me because of what I do for work and also because it's been a part of my life for so long you know I don't want to I don't want to sit here and say that it's not important because it is you know and I don't think that will ever fully go away but it's nice to see progress and it's nice to also just be able to recognize when you have a healthier mindset towards these things and so um yeah I thought that was worth sharing with you such a funny thing because I'm not the kind of person that wants to have regrets and I don't think that I have regrets on any of my experiences really because I think it like I think experience just makes you wiser and it eventually brings you to where you need to be but sometimes I'm like I wish I hadn't taken certain things so seriously you know I think it's just it's just one of those things that makes you realize or makes me think about had I just let it go sooner or had I just been kinder to myself sooner you know it would have just relieved so much stress for me at the time like I would stress myself out so much when it came to food and exercise and it almost made the whole experience worse because I would just restrict myself and then I would eat it all back, you know? It's funny how, oh man. It's funny how those feelings kind of stick with you, you know? Even when you are in a much better place. <sighs> I need to get up. I, um, I have these conversations with my girlfriends too sometimes. Girls who are also in the industry and we'll talk about, you know, how it must be to go through this once you've had a baby or once you leave the industry and it is kind of something to think about you know I don't know if I'll ever completely not care about what my body looks like I just think after so many years that's something that will stay with you forever and I don't know if that's a bad thing necessarily I feel like it's good to somewhat care and it's fine to want to look a certain way I think it's just about finding a healthy place on the spectrum to be you know but anyway i just i feel like i've been talking for a lot longer than i planned but i just wanted to share that with you guys because it is a very cool place to be in as a model and as someone who you know did kind of struggle with that stuff for a long time um it's nice to finally be in a place where you feel where these kind of things just happen and they're you know they have a lot less weight to them anyway i'm gonna get up off the couch and get some stuff done. I think I'm gonna pick up the vlog again tomorrow when I go to a workout and just have more to show you guys because the rest of the day I'm pretty much gonna be doing computer work and then tonight I have a little girls dinner with Ali and Sophia. So, I love you guys and I will see you in the morning. Good morning, it's Friday. I just got dressed for a workout. I have a Barry's class booked for 11 which I'm very excited about. I actually haven't been to Barry's since before the pandemic. I also booked this on ClassPass, by the way. Um, obviously, I've only been doing it for a few weeks, but I'm really starting to feel like this is the perfect program for me. I just, like over the years, I've just grown into being someone who needs to be pushed or needs like a commitment when it comes to working out. I'm not the kind of person that's gonna like drag myself to the gym every day and put myself through a new workout. It's just not who I am. And I also just know that if I do do that and I don't commit to like a class or a program or a membership, I'm not gonna feel as fit and I'm also not gonna look as fit as I want to. So yeah, I'm really loving all the options so far. I'm gonna go with Alex and Camilla, two of my boxing friends. So 
that's the plan for today. I had so much fun at dinner last night, but I definitely drank a little too much wine. <laughs> so um, yeah, I was kind of feeling it earlier this morning, but honestly it was worth it. I feel like sometimes you just have to have those nights with your friends where you just enjoy and connect and talk about things and you don't think about what you're eating or drinking, you know? So yeah, other than that, I've kind of just been doing laundry and like doing little things around the house. I'm also dealing with some, it's not like an issue I would say, but I have like a little storage problem with my computer. And I'm gonna share it with you guys because maybe someone out there can help me fix it. I had this come up like a year ago and or maybe it's already been two years ago, I can't remember. I had a similar problem a while back um, and I ended up fixing it when there was a Mac OS update. I have a MacBook and now I'm kind of having a similar problem except there's no update this time. So I'm kind of lost in terms of what to do next. But basically my MacBook has 120 gigabytes of storage and after the software and the apps and just the general things that help the computer run, you don't, you only have like maybe 70 gigabytes to work with. And so normally like that would be more than enough storage space to work with, except for some reason I have this one category that's taking up like 33, almost 34 gigabytes. And then on top of that, if you're editing videos, or you're wanting to edit multiple videos, you're left with basically no storage. So I'll show you guys what's happening right now. There's this one category called system data and it's essentially hogging 34 gigabytes of my storage space. And I've tried everything. I've tried Googling it. I've tried watching videos. I've tried typing in like the caches and all the different categories and deleting them and it just doesn't make a difference or make it go away. So if anyone knows, please let, let me know. Help me out. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure it will get resolved somehow. If any of you guys have tips on how to manage this going forward, let me know. The sun is coming out. I also have a couple of new workout sets to try. They're actually over there, which is why I was reminded to tell you. Um, I haven't tried any of it on either, so I'm excited to see how they look. I um, just felt like I needed a little bit of an update. I don't usually buy workout clothes very often, but then every few years I just will buy a bunch of sets and like update my workout clothes. So I bought a couple of different sets from different brands and I'm excited to try them on. So anyway, it's time for the workout. Before we get into the workout set, I have to show you guys my slippers that I just got because they're so cute. And I am going to wear them for the duration of this video. First set is from Lululemon. I have both the bra and the leggings in a different color, so I already knew that they were gonna fit. I just wanted to order this color. I'm trying to get it as clear as possible. But yeah, I love this bra. It's super comfortable and it's really good for girls who are smaller chested because it still gives you support but it doesn't feel like a very heavy bra. And then the leggings are the Align leggings. I love these. I just feel like these are such a go-to staple legging. So soft and comfy. So unfortunately they just started construction next door so if you hear that, disregard, I'm sorry. Also, I think they accidentally sent me the wrong color or I ordered the wrong color. I don't know what happened because I meant for this bra to match the leggings and it doesn't. This is like an espresso color. I wish I had the matching bra, but I'll still show you guys the leggings because I think they're really cute. I might try and keep them for now and see if I can find a matching bra, but they're basically the same fit as the other ones. Um, just a different color. Okay, this next set is from Aloe, as you can probably tell by the branding. I fell in love with this set when I saw my friend Livy wearing it. She wore it to a workout that we did this past weekend. And I just, I literally just got it in the mail as I came upstairs after um, Barry's. Give you guys a close up. This is the bra 
has like a cute little line detail just like the bottoms and then the back looks like this just like a typical sports bra and then the leggings are just black they have like a nice little aloe waistband and then they have this line detailing all down the side and over your bum so yeah i think that that's very cute and also very different from anything else that i own currently the only thing that i'm kind of hesitant about is the price point just gonna keep it real with you i think it's very expensive for what you're getting so i don't know about this one i'm gonna i'm gonna think about it okay last set this is the one from revolve that i was telling you about the year of ours i'm surprised by how much i like this one i did get the bra in um a size up i got this in a medium because the reviews and just the recommendation in general said that the top ran small but it's just like too loose for me to work out so if i keep this i would end up exchanging this one other than that i'm surprised by how much i like this set <laughs> i wasn't i just wasn't sure what to expect i feel like when you try a new brand you never really know how it's gonna fit or how it's gonna feel but it actually fits really well minus the top i also really love the color it's like a cooler toned brown and the leggings are honestly a great fit. I really like them. So I don't know. Maybe I just have to try and get a smaller size in this bra. That's it for the little activewear haul. I think I've decided on what I'm going to keep. I'm going to return the aloe set and then I'm also going to return this one. And I'm going to keep the first one for sure. And then I'm going to see if they have a sports bra to go with the olive color leggings. Just because I love them. And I just trust Lululemon. Honestly, I know they're going to last forever. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will leave everything linked down below, including my sizes, in case you want to check it out. very much sucked into this new docuseries on HBO Max. I'm just gonna preface by saying that I love, first of all, I love docuseries. I find them so interesting, but I also love anything that's true crime or murder or cult related. 
Um, so I'm just warning you guys that that's what the show is gonna be about, but two nights ago I started watching this docu-series called The Vow, it's on HBO Max, and this is, they just released the second season, which is how I found it, because they have a trailer up for it. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. Basically, it's about this man who started a cult, I think it was in the late 90s or early 2000s, and it's a recount of some of the in, like main individuals involved in it and their experience and also just how it escalated into this huge human trafficking scheme. I've basically just watched like four episodes back to back. I'm not even gonna lie about it. So if you guys need something to watch and you're into the same twisted television as I am, then I highly recommend you go and check it out. Anyway, I am gonna close off this vlog because it's been a long one and I feel like I've done so much talking in this video too, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I didn't vlog my dinner from earlier, so I'll have that linked down below. It's a super straightforward recipe. I've actually made it in another vlog, so maybe I'll link that vlog too. The only thing that I changed is that I'm using ground beef instead of ground chicken. So if you guys have any questions, you can leave me a comment and I'll totally get back to you about that. But otherwise, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one.